Hello and welcome to this tutorial today. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about files and folders. Now, files and folders, it's about file management. So file management is a very important concept when it comes to computing. So when you save a file, you need to know where the file is saved. When you open a file, you need to know where to save the file, all right? Now, file management is a tool that allows you to manage your files, your drive, your folders. It enables you to manage your work by creating, deleting, moving, copying, and renaming files and folders. Now, if you look up here, you would see that I have created a structure here. Now, this structure, this particular part, the first folder that you see there, is called the main folder right now this other folders this five folders that are here are the subfolders right so in file management I will be showing you how to create the main folder and the sub five folders main folder and the sub five folders so once you want to create a file structure like this proceed to the desktop once you're at the desktop, having in mind the file structure you want to create. Now, the main folder is my week. So right click on the desktop, scroll down to where you have the new button. Now scroll to the folder. That is our new folder. So new folder, type in my week and click anywhere on the desktop. So you have successfully created main folder my week now double click on the main folder having in mind that the subfolders are five subfolders which is monday up until friday so right click inside the main folder now go to the new point to the new and choose the folder now call this monday click anywhere now right click again point to new go to the new folder click on the new folder and call type Tuesday so this is what you have to do until you have created all the folders that you see in that file structure shown to you so we have Wednesday, right click, point to new folder. We have Thursday, right click, go to new, point to folder, and we have Friday. So I have successfully created the file structure that you saw in that picture. So it's quite easy. So I'm gonna close this folder. Now I have the main folder, my week. Once I open this folder, I'm gonna find five subfolders in my week. Okay, back to the desktop. If you look on the desktop, you see over here that I do have a data file, data file. So I'm gonna double click it because it's on the desktop. So I'll double click the data file. You would see that I do have some files here. So if you look up here by the tools bar, you would see here this down arrow, more options. If I click on the more options, if you look at the menu that is here, you can arrange the files that you see here in this format or whichever way you want it. So if I start by this point, extra large icons, once I click on extra large icons, you would see that the icons actually changes. So go back to that um, tools bar, click large icons. That's what we have. So small icons. So these are the files that we have in that folder. So you can actually choose which one that you want. This is list. This is how the files will be listed for you. But the one I want to draw your attention to is the detail button. So if I click on the details button, the details button, you will see that this are the files. The details button shows you the files itself and the file attributes 
all right the file and the file the name of the file date mod modified type and the size all right these are the five attributes from here type file attribute file attribute file attribute and these are the names of the files okay so if i click at the name of the file if i click at this um, the name heading there by clicking on the file attribute name you would see that the file are rearranged alphabetically a to z you see a d a b c and so forth if i click the file attributes name again the files are rearranged from z to a you will see that in descending order so if i go to the file attributes date modified and click on it date modified you will see here that the date modified it lists the date modified from the newest date modified which is 2020 up onto the oldest date modif modified if i click on the file attribute date modified again you will see that it lists the file from the oldest date modified up onto the newest date modified now i go to the file name i go to the file attribute type clicking on the file attribute type it arranges the file attributes by type now you would see that it has grouped this read um, test document together and the rich test and here we have this excel it's on its own you would see that the especially the word microsoft word is grouped together so the files are grouped together file type are all grouped together okay so if i click on the file attribute size it arranges the file the size of the files from the highest to the lowest you can see here that is 84 kilobytes up to two kilobytes if i click on that file attribute size again it rearranges it from the lowest the smallest file size right to the largest file size all right so i'm gonna close the data files folder now the next thing i like to show you is to sort all the files in the data files folder into the my week folder here is the data file folder so i'm going to copy all the files from here paste into my week folder and sort them all right so i'm going to double click the folder once it opens i'll press the ctrl a on my keyboard ctrl a highlights all the files in the folder now i'm going to right click and choose or select copy now if i select copy what that means is that it's only going to copy the files and i'll paste it into my week folder now it's going to leave so if i click that close the folder double click my week folder i'll paste it on the root folder in my week folder right click and click select the paste left click to paste it all right so you can see the selected or highlighted blue files are the ones i copied and pasted here so if i go back to the data files and open it you would see that i still have the files here i didn't actually cut them i didn't cut it out so the copy means you will have an identical file or folder in another destination of your choice
that's what I did. I copied the files from data file folder and pasted it into my week folder, leaving this still where it belongs. So I'm going to close the data file folder. I'm done with it. Now it's time to sort these files into these folders. Okay, to sort these files into the folders, select, I'm going to select the 2009 files and 2008 files and paste them into the Monday folder. So to do that, this is 2009, so I'll click 2009. To select another file, I have to depress the control key on my keyboard so I can select this 2009 files, 2008 files right so i'll move them to the monday folder so i'll right i right click the highlighted files now select the cut the cut means you'll be able to move the file or folder to another destination of your choice i want to move the files so i do not want to copy so i'll click on the cut now i'll move them to the Mondo folder. Either I double click and paste, right click and I'll paste it there. Right, so the back arrow back to the root folder. Now I'm going to select all the 2007 files and paste them into the Tuesday folder. So I'll look for 2007 files, click they press the control key on the keyboard click 2007 click 2007 files so i have three of them right click now choose or select the cut go to tuesday folder double click right click and select paste now back to the root folder i'm going to select or move all I'm gonna move all the 2006 files into the Wednesday folder so again this is 2006 depress the control key so I can select more files 2006 right click select cut paste in the Wednesday folder double click right click select paste back to the root folder now now i have five files left in this point five five files so i'm going to be using the drag and drop method to move these files the drag and drop method can also be used to move files into different location to use the drag and drop method i'll be selecting all the 2005 files to do that here date modified i'll click the 2005 file depress the control key on the keyboard and select this other file to, from 2005 remember i'm using the drag and drop method so once um i have selected or you selected your files and you want to use the drag and drop method click which is left click left click hold down that button now drag and dump it or I'll drag and dump it to the Thursday folder you will see that sign move to Thursday so I'll release the mouse you can see I have moved that particular folder so I'm gonna move the 2003 files into the Friday folder click now depress the control key on the keyboard to select more files and i'll select this particular one because it's 2003 now using the drag and drop format again i will hold these files now drag to the folder where i want to move it to which is friday which is showing me that friday now i will release the mouse you can see that the file has been moved to friday okay now leaving me with the last file in the root folder just one file all right so this last file what i want to do is to delete it okay so i'll right click 
this is you knowing how to delete a file right click scroll down I will see the delete I'll select the delete by clicking the left button now this dialog box comes out asking you if you're sure you want to delete this file yes you can see now I've finished sorting this file it's quite easy if you look at the root folder those files that were initially copied has all been sorted into different folders so if I click this folder and go back to the desktop double click my week folder you will see that my week folder is quite clean if I want to have access to any file I could just go straight if I click on the Monday, Monday folder I will see what I have there these are the stuff that I sorted now back to the root folder the same way the Friday folder I have the 2003 folders the files there so that's how you sort your files you have that file then you can sort into different folders leaving your root folder clean and not messed up now this is what we call file management I hope you do like this video drop your comments in the comment sections below this is actually for new people who are learning how to compute although some people do not know how to sort files if you go to some desktop some personal computers you will see either the desktop is really messed up or the my document folder is really messed up that's because they are not able to sort their files properly so file management is a very important concept for anyone to know it allows you to be able to sort your work properly leaving your desktop or your personal computer neat all right so share this folder with your friend sorry share the video with your friends click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so i will see you in my next video bye